All right, so the first thing that we're gonna take a look at here is how to actually create a new React project. Now, in general, the way that we create new React projects isn't by creating each of the files one by one and setting it up manually. We actually usually use something called Create React App to do this for us. Okay, so the name of Create React App should be pretty self-explanatory, right? It's basically a script that we can run from the command line that will automatically generate all of the files and boilerplate code for us. So before we actually see how to use Create React App to get our first React App up and running, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the right software installed on your computer. So mainly we need two things and they're both installed simultaneously. The first thing is Node and you can check the version of that by typing Node-V in your terminal. And the other thing is NPM, which usually comes packaged with Node. So, you know, we don't usually have to worry about packaging it separately. So what you should see is a version pretty similar to mine, right? You'll want to have at least version 14 point something of Node and version 6 point something of NPM. In general, the closer you are to the versions that I have, or, you know, if better yet, you have versions that are higher than mine, the better. Now, if you don't have Node or NPM installed, right, if you get some kind of error when you run these two commands, or if your versions are a little out of date, what you're gonna wanna do is actually head over to nodejs.org and install these things. Now, you're gonna want to install the long-term support version here. Of course, if you're feeling adventurous, you can always install the current version, which has all the latest features, but I generally recommend people use the long-term support version. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just download that, run the installer, it takes all of 10 to 15 seconds to install. And once you've done that, continue on with the course. So now that we've made sure we have the right versions of Node and NPM installed, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is actually create our React app using Create React App. So the way we do that is first, you're gonna to want to change directories into the directory where you normally keep all of your projects. For my own React projects, I just have a directory called React. And once you're inside of there, we're gonna generate our project by typing the command npx create-react-app and then the name of the project you wanna create. So we'll just call ours my first React app for now. And before we move on, it's important to know that the default package manager for Create React App projects is actually Yarn. Now, Yarn is mainly packaged with Create React App because Facebook created Yarn. And the alternative, which many people, including myself, prefer, is NPM. Now, again, since I prefer to use NPM, that's what we're gonna do here, but we do have to add a little flag to this script we're running here to make sure that it uses that instead of yarn. And that is we simply have to say dash dash use dash NPM. And then we're gonna hit enter, which will create our project for us. And there we go. So once Create React App has finished running, our new app is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change directories into the new app directory we created, which is gonna have the same name as what we typed after the script. So we're gonna say CD, my first React app, and hit enter. And then we're gonna jump right into running our app just to see what it looks like. And the way that you do that is, again, inside the directory, we're gonna run the script npm run start and hit enter. And that will open up our app in localhost 3000 on our computer. Okay, so you can see that it has this cool little spinning React logo thing. It's got some text underneath it, and it's got a link to learn React, which basically takes you to React's documentation site. And that's how you create and run a new React app using Create React App. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.